So, you're looking for some combos. Not those combos, nuh -uh, not the right video. You're looking for cards that make good combos in Q. Now, as far as I've learned from talking to the community, playing a little bit myself, there is a dividing line on two varieties of combos. There's a version of combos where the cards seem like they were essentially made for each other. Either their abilities directly impact each other, or one of them really impacts the other one. Sometimes these combos also are the ones that cause those animations to pop up on screen when you play them. Now, the other version of a combo is when two cards have synergy. A synergy combo is when two cards have two abilities that really line up with each other. Finding a good synergy combo for any deck can be very helpful. Let's say by chance you find two cards that, if your entire deck was science cards, you boost your science cards. Those cards have awesome synergy. They're great for an all science build deck. So there are two different kinds of combos here. There's animation style combos, and there's synergy style combos. Today in this video, I'm focusing on the animation style combos. We'll get to that one. <laughs> I'm gonna be covering these combos in three different categories. One of those I'm gonna call buddy combos because they're either directly made for each other or it's obvious one was made for the other one. Another one of those categories I'm calling third wheel combos and that's when you've got a duo that works really well together but you can also bring a third card into that and they work really well together, sometimes better, sometimes worse, honestly. And the last category is gonna be trios, which is simply just a three card combo. This is what I'm specifically gonna be covering. I'm gonna cover their total energy cost their total base power without any buffs, then the buffs that they add, their new power based off the buffs, and then their new PPE, their power per energy that's off of the new power. Let's start with buddy combos. Katana and Miyamoto Musashi. Total energy, 12. Total base power, 81. Their buff is 62. This makes their new power 143 and their new PPE 11.9. Here's one that on the day I'm filming this, you can buy it in the store right now. Red Wolf and the Wolf Moon. Total energy cost, eight. Total power, 58. These two add a buff of 49. That makes their new power 107 and their new PPE 13.4. I'm gonna give you a dino combo, but I'm gonna read it off my phone because I hate how hard the dinosaurs are to pronounce. The Tepuxara, the the Tupix, the Tupizora, and the Parasaurolophus. The Parasaurolophus. Total energy cost, 11. Total base power, 97. These two add a buff of 60. This makes their new total power, 157, and their new PPE, 14.3. The French Hen and the Gallimimus. Total energy, 11. Total base power, 86. These two add a buff of 80. This makes their new power 166 and their new PPE 15.1. Haley's Comet and Edmund Haley. Total energy cost 10. Total base power 88. These two add a buff of 66. This makes the new power 154 and the new PPE 15.4. 20 Fenchurch and the Shard. Total energy 9. Total base power 92. They add a buff of 50. This makes their new total power 142 and their new PPE 15.8. Pluto and I'm gonna say Sharon, Karen, Sharon, Charon. Total energy is 16, which is pretty high for just two cards. And their total base power is 144. But here's what's really nice about this duo. Their buff adds 23 power, but it also makes them seven energy cheaper as a whole to play. So when they're played together, it's actually only nine energy. Take that and their new power of 167 and you get a new PP of 18.6. Ramsey's the second and King Tut. Total energy, 11. Total base power, 97. These two, these two cards have a buff of 113. This makes their new power 200 and their new PPE 19.1. Gregorian Calendar and Inter Gravissimus, I believe. I picked a lot that I'm not 100% on how to pronounce. Total energy, six. Total base power, 30. So it sounds pretty low and not worth it right now. But they have a buff of 110 together. That makes the new power 140 and their new PPE 23.3. Last in this category, weight and dumbbell nebula. Total energy, three. Total base power, 56. These two have a buff of 28. That makes their new power 84 and their new PPE 28. I get it, 84 power is not a lot to brag about nowadays, but for the PPE that it brings out, that's a good combo to remember. Now let's talk about third wheel combos. I'm gonna start with three that I think you should be warned about, because for some reason, their duo has a better new PPE than their trio. That doesn't mean that the trio is not worth playing, that just means that it's not necessarily a major difference. Major difference? Sperm Whale and Petunia. Total energy, five. 
total base power, 47. These two have a buff of 70. That makes their new power 117 and their new PPE 23.4. Now let's add in the blue whale. Total energy, 10. Total base power, 88. These three have a buff of 120. That makes their new total power 208 and their new PPE 20.8. See, it's not bad, it's just not better. Black Rhino and Southern White Rhino. Total energy, three. Total base power, 24. These two have a buff of 40. That makes their new total power 64 and their new total PPE 21.3. Now add Elasmotherium. Total energy, 10. Total base power, 90. These three have a buff of 120. That makes their new power 210 and their new PPE 21. Again, it's not bad, it's essentially the same playing cards, and Wild Bill Hickok. Total energy, five. Total base power, 50. Playing cards is interesting because it can add power based on if you're winning or losing. So, depending on if you're winning or losing, this has a buff of 50 or 60. That makes your new power either 100 or 110, and your new PPE either 20 or 22. Now keep playing cards, get rid of Wild Bill Hickok, and bring in Tuxedo and Shamrock. Total energy, eight. Total base power, 86. This will have a buff of either 60 or 80. That makes its new power either 146 or 166, making its new PPE either 18.3 or 20.8. Okay, from here on out, every third wheel combo that I mentioned, the trio is gonna have a higher PPE than the duo. Heart Nebula and Soul Nebula. Total energy, nine. Total base power, 70. These two have a buff of 60. That makes their new power 130 and their new PPE 14.4. Now add in Aphrodite. Total energy, 13. Total base power, 110. These three have a buff of 90. That makes their new power 200 and their new PPE 15.4. Henry VIII and George III. Total energy, 10. Total base power, 103. These two have a buff of 40. That makes their new power 143 and their new PPE 14.3. Now add in the Monarch Butterfly. Total energy, 13. Total base power, 131. These three have a boost of 110. That makes their new total power 241 and their new PPE 18.5. Ammonite and Trilobite. Total energy, eight. Total base power, 95. These two have a buff of 75. That makes their new power 170 and their new PPE 21.3. Now bring in Devil's Toenails. Total energy, 12. Total base power, 121. These three have a buff of 167. That makes their new power 288 and their new PPE 24. Arctic Fox and Blizzard. Total energy, seven. Total base power, 70. These two have a buff of 80. That makes their new power 150 and their new PPE 21.4. Now bring in Willow Ptarmigan. Total energy, nine. Total base power, 97. These three have a buff of 120. That makes their new power 217 and their new PPE 24.1. Pato and Patu. Total energy, eight. Total base power, 80. These two have a buff of 78. That makes their new power 158 and their new PPE 19.8. Now bring in Tomato Frog. Total energy, nine. Total base power, 92. These three have a buff of 138. That makes their new power 230 and their new PPE 25.6. I saved my favorite third wheel combo for last. Odin and Frigga. Total energy, 10. Total base power, 100. These two have a buff of 100. That makes their new power 200 and their new PPE 20. Now bring in Sleepnir. Sidebar for my decks, I love this trio in my decks a lot. Total energy, 13. Total base power, 128. These three can have a buff up to 240. That makes the new power 368 and the new PPE 28.3. I am a sucker for that trio. Lastly, let's talk about some trios. I'm gonna start by talking about three cards that have two separate trios. The Fangtooth Moray, Osiris, and Thunderstorms. Start with the Moray. Fangtooth Moray, The Moon, and Buzz Aldrin. Total energy, 13. Total base power, 125. These three have a boost of 114. That makes their new power 239 and their new PPE 18.4. The better Moray trio is the Fangtooth Moray, The Moon, and Pizza. Total energy, 13. Total base power, 107. However, this trio has a buff of 174. That makes their new power 281 and their new PPE 21.6. Now let's talk about Osiris. Osiris, Horus, and Isis. Total energy, 10. Total base power, 90. 
These three also have a buff of 90. That makes their new power 190 and their new PPE 19. The better Osiris trio is Osiris, Ra, and Sekhmet. Total energy, 12. Total base power, 110. These three have a buff of 120. That makes their new power 230 and their new PPE 19.2. And lastly, Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein. Total energy, 14. Total base power, 30. Without abilities, that's so bad. <laughs> These three have a buff of 115. That makes their new power 145 and their new PPE 10.4. The better Thunderstorms trio is Thunderstorms, Thor, and Mjolnir. Total energy, 14. Total base power, 122. These three have a buff of 98. That makes their new power 220 and their new PPE 15.7. Lastly, to wrap up the video, I'm just gonna give you guys a couple random trios. Take them as you will. Horn Shark Egg, Dinosaur Eggs, and Egg Nebula. Total energy, 12. Total base power, 113. These three have a buff of 120. That makes their new power 233 and their new PPE 19.4. The Pyramids, Louvre Pyramid, and Trigonometry. Total energy, 9. Total base power, 85. These three have a buff of 100. That makes their new power 185 and their new PPE 20.6. Volta, Ampere, and Watt. Total energy, 8. Total base power, 85. These three have a buff of 95. That makes their new power 180 and their new PPE 22.5. These last three are pretty juicy in power and PPE. Sea Sponge, Starfish, Hamburger. You know who that's about. Not him. Yeah. Total energy, 12. Total base power, 136. These three have a buff of 207. That makes their total power 343 and their new PPE 28.6. The Cretaceous period, the Jurassic period, and the Triassic period. Total energy, 10. Total base power, 85. Depending on if it's an arena match, you either get a buff of 140 or 240. That makes the new power either 225 or 325, and the new PPE either 22.5 or 32.5. And last one for this video, Cane Toad, Snowy Owl, Bombay Cat. Total energy, 10. Total base power, 92. If it's the first time you're playing them, the total buff is 78. But if it's the third time you're playing them, the total buff is 234. I really hope that math is right. I think it is. That means either the new power is 170 with a PPE of 17, or it's 326 with a PPE of 32.6. That's all I'm gonna do for this video. I know there are a lot of duos and a lot of trios out there, and I'm also gonna do a video on synergy combos, but that's it for this one. That being said, are there combos that you know about and love that I didn't mention? Let me know. Are you about to start calling them buddy and third wheel combos also? Please let me know. That'd be really awesome if that caught on. Do you have other deck ideas like just sharks or all about SpongeBob or something complicated? Let me know. I'm linking the Discord down below. Thank you so much to the community for watching these and sharing it and giving me advice honestly because I'm out of the loop of this game a lot. Reaching out to you guys on Discord helps so much and you guys are so helpful. Thank you for everything. Such a nice community. I'm so happy to be a part of it in any which way. All that being said, more Q videos on the horizon for the year, and I will see you in the next one.